Hi guys, well, it is a big day. Our old Tollycraft has been for sale. It is time to survey it for the new owner for his new insurance. So we're off to the yard to have it hauled out and have it surveyed. Stick with us, let's see how this goes. For those of you that don't know, when you buy a boat, the buyer pays for uh, all of this kind of thing. So the haul out, uh, which uh, you you uh, contract with a yard, a boat yard to do, uh, they pressure wash the bottom as a courtesy of the haul out, so that's included in the price of the haul. Uh, for a survey, they just leave it in the slings, they don't uh, put it up on blocks or anything. And it uh, depends on the yard and what you've arranged, uh, how long it would be in the slings and how long your surveyor wants. Uh, so today the buyer has arranged uh, for the haul out the, the yard uh, at a particular time. He's also hired the surveyor and he pays for that. Uh, the surveyor will spend some time uh, on the boat probably before it uh, gets hauled out, uh, depending on how busy the yard is and where they are in their morning schedule. And then, uh, do the out of the water work. So that's checking the running gear, the props, the shafts, the cutlass bearings. Uh, they will take a look at the condition of the bottom, the through holes, the strainers, sea strainers underneath, uh, things like that. And then it goes back in the water and they might need to spend some more time uh, in the water and then they may uh, request a sea trial where they want to be out here on the river uh, listening to it run, seeing that it runs. Uh, some uh, surveyors, depending, uh, will, will want that. Uh, depending on the complexity of the boat, you might have two surveyors, one that does the hull and mechanical systems and one that is strictly an engine surveyor. So particularly on like twin and diesel, uh, over six figure boats, uh, it's recommended that you would have uh, an engine surveyor and a hull surveyor. Uh, today, this is a, a fairly simple boat. It's an older boat, um, a single survey would be just fine uh, and you kind of go with the assumption that they're um, mostly focused on the hull and uh, we'll give the engines a, a cursory look uh, but if you have particular concerns then you uh, get an engine survey. State Bridge, I-5 crossing the Columbia River. So we're, uh, I don't know, two-thirds of the way there now. It's a little bit up here.
made it into Schooner Creek this morning for our haul out and survey. Uh, beautiful day. Maybe this is our next boat? Probably not. Well, it's a little bit of a sad morning. We have sold our boat. And so we are here uh, on the next to last uh, day of our ownership to clean out some of our personal items. And then tomorrow, the new owner and I will drive it over to a public boat launch where it'll get loaded on a truck. And we hope to film some of that uh, so you can see it go. But uh, today's job is to clean out the stuff that uh, our families enjoyed on the boat. So here we go. Place must be hell, no more cookies in this jar. Did I take it too far? Now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land. Like a fish on land. Like a fish on land. I was getting lost. Well, this is it, guys. Bright and early. Uh, saying goodbye to our boat, but uh, onward to bigger boats and then bigger adventures. I'll see how today goes. Plan is to uh, remove the uh, bimini top, uh, uh, take that uh, Venturi windscreen off the flybridge, and then uh, motor down to the public boat ramp where we put it on a truck and off it goes. Well, this is it. Goodbye, Seaworthy. The uh, truck is here. Uh, boat is ready to be loaded and uh, move on to new adventures with a new family. It's been a good time, uh, but uh, sad to see her go. In the quicksand, pink clouds eating their way into my head. Take it too far now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land.